Hello everyone, this is Jason, the Science Outreach Manager and Life Science Educator here at the Children's Museum Houston. I am at the ConocoPhillips Math Cart to show you how to make a really cool activity called a pie chain. And the reason why we're going to make a pie chain is because Sunday is Pi Day. It's March 14th, 314, which is the first three digits of the irrational number Pi. This activity is being brought to you by the Hamill Foundation and the Georgia Mary Josephine Hammond Foundation. Let's talk about this activity really quick. First of all, I've already told you that pi is an irrational number. And what that means in this case is that when you divide the number 22 divided by 7, you get 3.14 and then an infinite amount of numbers that never have a repeating pattern that's very, very noticeable. Numbers obviously repeat. When it comes to integers or numbers, there's really only 10 of them. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's 10. The reason you get 10 is because you put one and zero together. So you have these 10 integers that are all throughout pi but they don't repeat in any really, really noticeable way. That's what makes it very, very interesting. Now, pi is what we use to find the circumference and area of circles. And I thought, you know, pi is infinite. I'll use the element hydrogen to show you my circle because hydrogen is the most abundant element in the universe. So we'll use the two big things in our universe to talk about circles. So. To find the area circle of a circle is pi r squared. So we already know what the number pi is. We'll just go the first three integers, 3.14, the first three numbers, and the radius squared. What is the radius? Take a point at the edge, go to the middle. You can take it over here, go to the middle. You can take it over here and go to the middle. You can take it over here. Anywhere along the circle, you go to the middle. That's the radius. If you go all the way across, that's the diameter. Now, you have to be careful because it's pi r squared, not pi r times 2. When you square something, you multiply it by itself. So let's say it's 3 inches right here, just for the sake of argument, 3 inches. It wouldn't be pi times 3 times 2 equals 6. It would be pi times 3 times 3 equals 9. That's why you have to use the radius and not the diameter. Because really the diameter of a circle is pi or is radius times 2. Okay? The diameter is radius times 2. That, my friends, is how you find the circumference. You can either do the radius, which you already know, pi times radius times 2, or you can do pi times diameter, either way, okay? But this is the reason why philosophers and Greek thinkers and Roman thinkers and um, Babylonian thinkers called the circle the perfect shape and infinite. Because pi itself is infinite, circles, you never really know their exact circumference because it continues forever and ever and ever. So it has no beginning and no end and it's infinite. So circles are very, very special shapes to people. Now, one more cool fact about pi and I will show you how to make a pi chain. There is a man named Akira Haraguchi who in 2016 was able to recite pi to 100,000 digits, 100,000 numbers, 100,000 integers. He did it with memory and he did it in under 17 hours. So it didn't even take him a whole day to do it. He did it that quickly. My pie chain right now is 19 numbers. I don't even have them memorized. I'm not good at that. I don't have that memorized, but I have a way of knowing what the numbers are because of my preparation to make the pie chain. So let's talk about what we need to do to prepare, and then I'll show you how to make it. If you notice right here in the front, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All of these strips of paper are from different construction papers. And all I did was, is I folded them lengthwise like this, and lengthwise again like this, opened it up, and then cut with a pair of scissors all the four different strips, okay? And I used a different color paper 
for every number. This right here, if you notice, I have to the side. This would be zero. But my pie chain did not have zero anywhere, so I didn't put zero down yet. But yes, there are points of pi that have a zero, okay? I looked at pi to the hundredth digit, and it has zero actually quite a few times, but just not in the first 20 digits. So right here, I have the first digit through 19. So notice that the red construction paper is three. I've already said pi is 3.14. So three right here is the red. One is this sort of pale peach color. Yellow is four. So then I know what the other ones are. So it's three point one four one five nine two six five three five eight nine. The one and only seven nine three two three and eight and i think i might have called this two i meant six see it's difficult so let me do that one more time three one four one five nine two six five three five eight nine seven nine three two three eight i know the 20th digit because i did memorize the one number it is the yellow, which is four. So to conclude this on the pie chain is very simple. You just put it through the white one there. You go ahead and get it together. You can use a stapler, you can use tape, you can use glue, but you go ahead and you hook it on. So that is now part of the chain, okay? now. What is really cool about this is if you have many people making a pie chain and you look on the interwebs to look up pies digits, you can make a pie chain hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of numbers long. You just have to remember to have a lot of sheets of paper, have them numbered all the time and don't lose the numbering and you know, chunk it out. Don't try to look at all hundred numbers in a line. Go 10 numbers, then do a new space and 10 numbers, and a new space and 10 numbers. And always like put a check or something when you're done with a row, okay? And then you can just keep making pie chains all day long. I tried to look up the longest pie chain ever made. I couldn't find anything, but I saw things like, like certain schools, like we made a 700 number pie chain. We made a thousand number, but it wasn't in confirmed. So, Give yourself a goal. We're going to make a thousand numbers. We're going to make this and that. And then show us how long it is. How are you going to show us how long it is? That's the easy part. As you're making your pie chain, get your phone out, take pictures. Submit those pictures. I'm sorry, not submit. Post those pictures on our social media. We have Instagram. We have Facebook. We have Twitter. We have it all. Post your long, long pie chain. Post a bunch of pictures like here's the start, here's the next section, here's the next, because if it gets really long, you might have to chunk it out in different pictures. We would love to see how long of a pie chain you make. If you get to a thousand numbers, you are superstars, okay? If you are watching this video on YouTube, please do me a big favor. Hit the subscribe button. When you hit that button, you will get notifications about all our other videos. More math stuff, more science stuff, story times, Tater Tots Top Tunes, and Mr. O's Oh Wow Moments. You want to see it all because it's all great fun. With that, I'm going to wish you all a happy Pi Day. Hopefully we have some socially distant pie fights that we can see people throwing pies at each other. I think we might have a small one here. I'm not sure, but we'll see. Some socially distant pie fights would be really great to see. Hope you're all doing well, and I really hope to see you soon. With that, I'm going to say see you later.